Hey guys, it's John from Physical Living, and in this video I'm going to teach you the Paloff Press, also called the Paloff Press. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, I've heard it both ways. Um, but it's basically an anti-rotation core exercise um, that you can do with a resistance band or a pulley machine at the gym. There's probably some other ways you can do it too. Um, so I'll just demonstrate it for you and then kind of talk you through it. Great exercise for developing your core um, and training that anti-rotation, which is really what your core musculature, it's one of its primary uses, is to resist over-rotation of your spine, because you don't want your spine to over-rotate, because you're going to run into problems. There's different ways to do it. There's a split leg version. You can also do it kneeling. I'll, I'll show you both. But basically, you pull the, you put some tension on your band or, or lift some weight on the pulley machine, and you're going to press the, the uh, implement in front of you to full elbow lockout and then pull it back to your center line, just like so. And I'm kind of talking you through it, so you should be exhaling to extension and inhaling back in as you pull it in. Um, so, like I said, great exercise for training your core. Um, it not only integrates like your ab musculature and all your core musculature, it ties in your shoulders and your hips together in a really um, unique way and so that's that's one of the reasons why I prefer to do it not just kneeling I mean this would be a, a beginner progression doing it from kneeling if your knees bother you grab a pad or something to put them uh, beneath your knees but I also like to do it with this split kneeling position because it requires a little bit more stability um, of your core so you get your glutes a little bit more engaged um, and etc and so basically what you're going to do is um, Position your band at or below, slightly below shoulder level. Um, it's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if it's a little higher, a little lower. Um, but that's that would be the, the desired position. Um, you're going to put just enough tension on it, just a little bit in the beginning when you're first learning the exercise, um, especially if you have a history of back problems because when you start, especially when you start training um, rotation and anti-rotation of the core musculature in your spine, um, if you have a past history of injuries, uh, little issues, pre-existing conditions can come out of the woodwork. But you're going to want to put a little bit of tension on it. Um, so if you have a, a handle, so this is a, a band from Rubber Bandits and they have all kinds of accessories like this clip and this handle. Um, you don't need that. You can grab right onto the band if you want to, um, but since I had it handy. handy. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to uh, get a good solid grip. You can either interlace your fingers or just go like hand over hand like this um, and you're going to keep it pulled in tight to your center line and how you start is just as important as how you extend it forward so you want to lock everything down in your core and basically want to um, tighten everything draw your belly in slightly perform a very slight crunch you know, like a micro crunch just to crush this can in your core and your belly keep your shoulders packed down tuck your tailbone slightly by squeezing your glutes so you're maintaining that neutral spine from the crown of your head all the way to the tip of your tailbone. And you just want to maintain that spinal position throughout the full range of motion. And as you extend the, the band forward, um, that's going to increase the, the leverage challenge. It's going to be pulling you further away from your center line. It's going to get harder. And, and so the key is to maintain that core lockdown in that same position with as little deviation as possible throughout the full range of motion. The press is really just um, to make that core challenge harder. Um, you know, you might feel this in your shoulders too, and your shoulders might be the weakest link, um, but this is primarily a, a core exercise involving the entire torso. So um, if, the, if you don't have a thicker band, or if you, you need to, you can always walk the band out a little bit further. Again, pull it into your center line, so it's just um, right above your belly button, and then you're gonna press it forward all the way forward while maintaining that locked down core until you get full elbow lock and keeping your shoulders packed down. You don't want your shoulders to shrug upwards. You don't want them to slide forwards. You don't want your mid back to round out. You want to keep your elbows locked and your shoulders packed when you come out into this flag position. And then you're just going to draw it back in, maintaining that tension. So you're keeping everything contracted, your glutes, your core, your shoulders packed throughout the full range of motion. As you extend, you're going to exhale, so you're going to perform a slow, smooth as you keep everything locked down, and then you inhale back slightly as you relax a little, and exhale forward, 
full elbow lockout. You can walk it out a little further, and eventually you can go to a split leg version, which is going to require a little bit more stability and strength in your glutes and your hips. Um, so you just bring that further leg from where your anchor point is um, up, and so your foot's flat and your knee's at about a 90 degree angle. And it's going to be same as before, but it's going to require a little bit more core activation. So you're just going to press forward and then bring it back nice and slow. And, and the, the tempo is basically a slow, slow and smooth controlled extension. You're going to pause for just a moment, slow and controlled all the way back, and pause for just a moment. So you don't want to be you know, repping out fast here. It's not a ballistic um, plyometric type exercise. It's a very slow and controlled isometric exercise with a little bit of movement. Um, so that's the Paloff Press, Paloff Press um, exercise that I've reintroduced recently. I've um, been doing a little bit of that and it's really good. It's a great exercise. I thought you guys might enjoy it. All you need is a band or a pulley machine at the gym and you can do a lot with it. So hope you enjoy and let me know if you have any questions about it. I'd love to help. Thank you and take care.